Every poker player is being marked, tracked, bagged, and tagged by an algorithm. Do you trust this man with all your information? But I want to understand that every winning player leaves a fingerprint of his style of play. Mm -hmm. Do you trust this man with the God mode? Will this man sell your personal information? Does this guy know where you live? But I want to understand that every winning player leaves a fingerprint of his style of play. Mm -hmm. Again, all players are being tracked. Do you know if this man has a criminal background? How about his associates? How about it? But I want to understand that every winning player leaves a fingerprint of his style of play. Mm -hmm. So, you don't know. How can they make money off of stealing your information? Maybe the next video will clue you in to how the 666 gang works. Yes, they can make money by tracking you and tagging you. How to be the next great comedian. Hmm. So you want to be a comedian, huh? But the problem is, you don't really have much material. You might be kind of young, and your life experience is limited. Well, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to, it's like a cheat sheet. I'm going to show you how to get off the ground. And, you know, you can become the next great comedian. Sort of like uh, Tim Dillon here. We'll talk about him in a moment. But first of all, let's talk about who you are. Let's just say that you're nobody special. I mean, you don't have an uncle at Google. You don't have an aunt in YouTube. And unfortunately, you are not privy to the Google algorithms that are marking, tracking, tagging, and bagging every online character, personality, savant, geniuses, and crazy people out there. They're all being bagged and tagged by these algorithms. But like I said, your uncle's not at Google, and you're not privy to these algorithms. So you're going to have to do it the hard way. So you must find that clever individual out there on YouTube or social media who is being shadow banned. You, you know what shadow banned is. You know those people out in California who work in little cubicles at Google and YouTube. And they search the whole website. And they find people they don't like. They don't like the way you talk. They don't like what you stand for or whatever. Just They just don't like you. So they shadow ban you. Sort of like, um, what's that guy's name? Bravo Bamula! <laughs> oh, of course you don't know who he is because he's shadow banned. Or even this channel here called Recca the Ruins of America. Yeah, we'll use Recca as an example. Recca made a, a little video, I think it was back in March of 2019. The fat girl in a Bonneville with a lollipop. It's somewhat funny, maybe halfway clever. But the bottom line here, what you got to take away from this is Recca, the Ruins of America, is shadow banned. What has he got? 47 views? I mean, what the way they plan it, you know, those guys out there in the cubicles at Google and YouTube, they plan on it where you'll get 66 hits. The lifetime, the life, that sucker, that video can be on there for six years and it'll get 66 hits. I mean, that's what Shadow Band's about. Um, the algorithms do most of the work. It's not really the people in the cubicles that do the work, but the people in the cubicles monitor the algorithms, they tweak the algorithms, and okay, enough of the algorithms. So, first of all, You've got to find a very clever, somewhat funny, you know, German, Celtic, Mediterranean, pseudo-Nazi nutcase out there, like Recca, the Ruins of America. And, um, okay, of course, you're not going to find this person on eBay or Craigslist. No, you'll have to scour YouTube. You have to look all, your, you know, you're going to have to go scour YouTube. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. It, it won't be easy to find this Vaughn nutcase because YouTube doesn't want you to find it. He's thrown down this deep, dark, shadow band hole for a reason. So far down that you might never find him. But let's just say that you get lucky. For example, 
out of the blue. I mean, why don't we use um, Tim Dillon for an example? Oh, Tim, yeah, this ought to work fine. Good example. And I like Tim. He's kind of funny, a little obnoxious, right down my alley. And he made this video just recently here, um, The Ballad of a Fat Girl with a Clean Car. Now, this he's doing his work in a hotel bed. He's basically just practicing, rehearsing. You know, he's just trying to get a story together. But here's the thing. Just like Tim, I mean, you need inspiration. If you're going to become the next great comedian, you need to be inspired. How are you going to be inspired? Okay, again, so we're going to use the Tim Dillon playbook. You scour YouTube until you find this YouTuber tuber, that is never going to see the light of day. I mean, because quite frankly, I mean, the little nerds who sit in Google cubicles find him borderline racist. I mean, this guy, Rekka, the ruins of America. I mean, this guy is going to be shadow banned from here to eternity. You got to find a guy like Rekka, the ruins of America, and you're going to be inspired by his work. The fat girl in a Bonneville with a lollipop. And then you, once you find somebody who shadow banned like Rekka, then you don't have to worry about his work ever coming to the light of day because Google and YouTube will take care of that for you. His work will never see the light of day. You don't have to worry about that. So then you take this guy's material, for example, um, this fat girl in a Bonneville with a lollipop, and then you change it a little bit. You work with it. You add your own little touch here and there. It helps if you're fat, because only fat people can make fat jokes, you know, kind of like how gay jokes, I mean, only gay people can make gay jokes, I mean, and get paid by the advertisers. I mean, if you want to get 18,000 hits and have advertisers, I mean, hey, I guess nobody said that life is fair, you Nazi bastard! <laughs> you want to get on top, you're going to have to step on some toes. Wrecker the ruins of America, step on his toes, kick him in the eyes, poke him in the nose, doo doo doo. Now, okay. So Tim Dillon is a very funny, obnoxious New Yorker. He insults everybody, but he knows who not to insult. I tell you right now, he's not going to insult the Zionist because he knows where his next meal is coming from, and he likes matzo ball soup for sure. I mean, hell, everybody likes matzo ball soup. I mean, there used to be this matzo ball soup deli down there. Binion's Horseshoe, downtown Las Vegas back in the day. I tell you, damn, those were the best matzo ball, diet, matzo ball soup I'd ever tasted down there in Vegas, 1980s. I mean, hey... Where were we at now? How to be the next great character on YouTube and make your fortune. But like I said, you don't have, you're not privy to the algorithms. It's going to give you the information on Rekka. You have to find Rekka on your own. I mean, like I said, you must find that half-assed clever individual who is being shadow banned. We'll use Rekka, the ruins of America, for example. He's come up with some half-assed clever work. The fat girl in the bottom of it with a lollipop. And then you're going to tweak it and work it. And, um, okay, but, but, but that's the rub, isn't it? How can you find this cutting-edge work if it's being shadow banned? I mean, hey, I never said this was going to be easy, Snowflake. I'm just giving you the playbook here. Tim did it. If Tim did it, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you need to watch Tim's work on that ice cream routine he's got. That now that's some funny shit there. Just Google or YouTube Tim Dillon ice cream. <laughs> that shit's funny as hell. Trust me, it is.